love just being in a room full of people who love physics and will talk about physics. And I was on the education table, so we were talking about physics, education, um, and just hearing the kind of commitment towards increasing diversity in physics um, just made me feel really kind of happy and proud to be a member of the Institute of Physics. I think it celebrates what physicists have done, and, uh, and that, that's always good, I think. Put a lot of work into doing science communication, talking to people, and this is the first time I've actually been able to point at something and have something to show that, as judged by an objective uh, expert, uh, I did well. And that's been beautiful to show to my family, my friends and my professors to justify what I've been taking time off to do. Sorry about the eight foot robot. Um, he, he is the newest member of the staff team. He's, he's going to take my seat on the Brexit Science Committee. We thought that would be a, I thought that would work well. Oh, I'm very excited about winning the award and you know, it, it's just a beautiful um, recognition of what you do and uh, it's great to be here with all these other brilliant physicists and be part of this great event. Well, I knew it was a big honor, so I was really pleased. I really, really thought it was nice. I mean, Newton sort of started physics in a way, didn't he? And here I have a prize named after the most important physicist you can imagine. I get the award from um, finding a way to take intense light and make its wavelength much shorter and make its duration much shorter as well. These are the shortest flashes of light that we as humans can make. Physicists work extremely hard and just to have some recognition now and again <laughs> makes a huge difference. I've been doing all this outreach in um, developing countries and poorer parts of the world. If like only you know 10% of academics in the UK took, took on for example one project in a poor country each that would make a huge difference in the world. I felt incredibly honoured and extremely pleased to win the prize. Um, I was particularly pleased that the IOP recognised a very unorthodox and unconventional path that combined many different areas in order to answer a fundamental question about the universe. And I think that that interdisciplinary approach being recognised is a great thing. I also felt like it was very uh, wonderful to get a prize that's named out of Fred Hoyle. He's a very unconventional person with an independent streak. And um, I want to be outspoken like him, and I want to in particular focus on the inclusivity of our field in order to draw people from all walks of life and all characteristics to have a role in answering the most deep questions about the universe. It means a lot to our company uh, for being such a small company from the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Winning such a large, big award such as this is really helpful for getting our name out and spreading of all the innovative technology that we have to offer to the world. Yeah, well, it was. It's great that the uh, Institute of Physics has recognized our product as being an innovative use of physics. Uh, yeah, being a physicist personally, as well as an engineer, I find it um, it's the, the pinnacle of, uh, of being recognized by the Institute of Physics as, as a, having been awarded this, this award fantastic opportunity for physicists because in our own little laboratories we become very sheltered and we only interact with people doing very similar science and physics research to us. So to come to a, uh, an event like this and to see all the different physicists and all the different work being done in the British Isles is absolutely amazing.